This is a, a video on how OR logic is used not only at the digital discrete level, like digital fundamentals level, but also how it's done in pneumatics and hydraulics and in uh, motor controls, which would then directly relate to how it's done in PLCs. Okay, so let's take a look first at the truth table for an OR gate. OK, and so basically when we're dealing with digital fundamentals, we typically think of inputs as being A and B, OK, and which is completely fine. And that just means is there zero volts or five volts? OK, and so here's the truth table. We have A, B, OK, and you can read more about truth tables on the web. There's a ton of it out there. But basically it means is that if one or both of the inputs is true or activated, you will get a one on the output, okay? So for this example, we have our digital fundamentals right here, our gate. So if I activate this one, we get a one here. If we activate this, we get a one here. If it's just this one, we still have a high. The only way we get a low is if both of them are lows or false or zeros or off, however you want to describe it. This is just the, uh, this is the more universal symbol for it right here that you'll see when it's one, or the other, okay? And so you can follow along as I'm activating these being zero or one in the truth table and follow that logic and see how it runs, okay? Now for this one right here, now with a pneumatic circuit, this is going to work the same. If I identify this push button as A, as a and this push button is B, the same truth table still holds true. So if I hit A, comes up, goes to this shuttle valve, sometimes referred to as an OR valve, but typically it's referred to as a shuttle valve in pneumatics. Air flows up, pushes this directional control valve, extends the cylinder. If I push this one or this one, all right, or both. Now this is great because if I need a machine to operate from two locations, I can have a push button on one side of the machine and a push button on the other side of the machine. OK, and again, this truth table would still hold true. Now, how do I relate that over to the electrical systems? All right. Well, here is the electrical version of this pneumatic circuit here. Here, this is all air. Everything in here in air is air. And these still exist out in the field, out in the field, not nearly as much as they used to. But some companies still use pneumatic logic on machines that typically just haven't broke yet or are too expensive to replace yet for electrical systems and in hazardous locations. So all this stuff can still be purchased and still needs to be understood. All right. So now if I look over here at the electrical circuit, OK, now if I identify this is A and this is B, these are going to activate this solenoid. So in this case, this solenoid one is my output over here. This pressure gauge, this uh, this uh, external pilot, this is my output, okay? The directional control valve itself, this is, this directional control valve with the cylinder, this is the power circuit. This is the control circuit. This is the control circuit. Over here, my electrical system, this is my control circuit here. My power circuit is right here. So when I activate this, SL1 goes true or goes to one, all right? SOL1 here, is the, physically the same thing as this. This is a symbol for the control circuit. This is for the power circuit. And so when I activate this, this goes out, this activates the solenoid here and shifts the spool on the directional control valve, extending the cylinder. When I let it go, it automatically checks because the spring here pushes it back into position. So in this case, I can do this push button or this push button. This is called an OR circuit. In this case, we would have these switches wired in what we call parallel. So a parallel circuit is an OR logic circuit. All right. Even if I wanted to add more into it, I absolutely could, which we'll talk about in a later video. So this is an introduction to why digital logic, especially the OR valve, is so important because most circuits will have multiple options to engage an output. Let it be a push, but two push buttons. Let it be a push button in a memory from a control relay or an internal control relay. Let it be a push button and a limit switch, whatever it is. Or logic has to be understood 
to understand how almost all industrial circuits operate. Okay, and so again, we start off learning in digital about the gates. Okay, and most of the students are like, why is this important? Well, hopefully this video will show you how we begin to activate real world components using the logic that you learn in a digital fundamentals it, it being applied in a gate chip method. All right, so I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit the like and subscribe button.